It's day two of Ignite in Seattle. Another exciting day. We have a lot of, lots more sessions to go and uh, interaction. So, but I'm continuing my discussion with IT pros about Copilot, AI, Windows 11, and Intune. And with me is a friend and a fellow IT pro all the way from down under, Arish. Introduce yourself. Thanks, Harjit. Thanks for this. And it was a pleasure meeting you in person. Uh, I must say that it has been overwhelming with all the announcements, right? All the AI announcements. And I'm so happy to see AI across the fleet in all each and every Microsoft product. Each and every Microsoft each product. Each and every. That, that's the differentiator, like what is different between other competitors and Microsoft, every product has AI. Right, right. So you were just in a session in a breakout, one of the big breakout sessions, uh, scaling AI with Windows and, and uh, Windows 365 Cloud and all that stuff. What are your thoughts? So what did you hear in there and uh, what got you excited? So I am very excited about few AI announcements with Copilot, Security Copilot. It is a game changer. That's going to be a game changer. I think it is yeah. going to be a game changer when you can do mix with logs and AI. Right. And with natural language, you can go about your day as a, as a SOC sure. engineer or SOC person. So I, I, I'm looking forward to that. Plus the Windows Copilot AI, yeah. where after Microsoft 365 integration, where documents, presentations yes. gets integrated, and then you can start asking the co-pilot specific things with your data yes. and right inside Windows 11, big difference. In one place, right? One place. It's just all integrated. All that integrated. was brilliant. That was yeah. really nice. That was really nice. The other thing that really was uh, happy was uh, the announcement of uh, Windows uh, app, right? Windows 365 app. That's also another game changer. Makes it so seamless and easy to use cloud PC. That's right. Uh, fantastic stuff. Anything else that stuck out uh, for you for Copilot and AI? For the Windows app, I just wanted to extend it further because it's like one-stop shop, not only for cloud PCs, but Azure Virtual Desktop, Remote Desktop, and it's on almost all platforms across Mac OS, right. iOS, Android. So I just did a video in the morning about it and it was so exciting, seamless usage of Windows app. I think everyone should go and Try it out. Everyone should try it Every out. Time. I mean, oh my God, I've been using it for a little while now. It's phenomenal. It's a game changer for anything that you do. Yeah. Whether you want to like, hey, you know, write me a, a quick blog post or uh, go find me this information right. or summarize things and stuff like that. And then the image creation stuff, that is phenomenal. That oh Dali generated image <laughs> at the PowerPoint was quick. Yeah. Just give me an image with this in it within the windows, gave you an image, put the image in your PowerPoint and let the designer do the auto tuning of the image. Right, that's was, what we just saw. And we saw that it was like, wow, this is going to increase, I think, productivity, productivity by 1000x is what and I would quality say. quality yes. too. You're going to have some quality right. uh, documentations yeah. and, and whatever. So that's awesome. Absolutely. I'm so glad um, uh, to talk to you about this and I'm so glad you are energized and and uh, really excited about you know Windows and Copilot and AI. Uh, really great chatting with you. Thank you, Arjit, Thank for you. having me. It was a pleasure. Yes. Pleasure. And have a great Ignite. Thank you very much. Everyone have a great Ignite. So I've been here in Seattle for the last few days and every single day, I've been hanging out with one of my coolest friends from the Netherlands, Raymond Kamvalias. Raymond. <laughs> Well, I already know who you are, so <laughs> let, let the audience know who you are, what you do. Well, I'm uh, Raymond Convalius, <laughs> and I'm an independent consultant and trainer from the Netherlands. Been doing that for 25 years already. 25 years. Oh, my God. Yeah. Old yeah. school at this now, huh? I'm old school yeah. in this now, yes. So, but, but we're not wrong, though. We've been hanging out every day. Yeah. I we, mean, we, we went out, we, we checked out the waterfalls and uh, Cary Park, right? <laughs> Beautiful scenes yeah. of... Uh, Seattle and stuff like yeah, that. We were also able to check out the conference and how the preparations were going on here. Right, right, right. That was cool. You've been in some of my sessions. You've been at the keynotes. You've been at the breakouts and stuff like that. So what are you hearing? What do you like? What's what's hitting you here at Ignite? What I hear is a lot of co-pilot. 
<laughs> and, and I think it's a good thing, AI being built in, in the products the way it is now. They make life easier. And okay. I think it will make it especially easier for those that are not that experienced yet. Okay. And are trying to find their way to the product. And now they can just ask Copilot. So, so when you say not experienced, but not experienced in terms of like uh, the different uh, applications or different uh, products, right? Like you're saying, let's say Teams or Office or... Products are getting bigger and bigger and getting more options and okay. more things you can do with <clears throat> them, like, like in tune. Okay. It's expanded, right, right, got right. new possibilities supporting macOS and everything. And now all of a sudden people get new opportunities in those products and they try to find out how does this work. How does and this I work, right? I think that Copilot will help in that. Exactly. Because exactly. in previous day you would turn to Bing or Google or something and find out You're how is for, this done. How do I do this? Yeah. Now, now you just do it within Copilot, within the product itself, and it's giving you... Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, we saw, you know, in uh, today's uh, Windows and Intune breakout session, there was a demo of, you know, how, hey, Copilot, change my wallpaper, right? Instead of you going to settings and personalization and hunting, is that even in there? You exactly. Know? Yeah, yeah. So how, is, how do you think, um, you know, I know you're an independent consultant, you have your mm -hmm. own company, you work with, you know, large customers as well um, and small ones. Mm -hmm. um, how how are all of these things, these AI copilot, one, gonna help you for your business and two, help your customers? How are you gonna see them integrating and using this? I think AI is a welcome assistant. Okay. It will help me to do things faster with less effort. Okay. With less effort, okay. Yeah. To run your business. To run my business. Right. Well, or to run my business like Currently, you have like Copilot, what used to be Bing Chat. Yeah. It helps you to provide answers, uh, to do the find the right wording for whatever thing you are right. doing, writing. And yeah, it helps me. It's kind of an assistant. Okay. Yeah. So at the same point in time, that's the same thing that's going to happen to your customers too. Exactly. Right? Okay. What is some of one or two things that really excited you that you heard from here, from Ignite? Well, I've been able to play with Teams Mesh. Oh. And That's interesting. That was a great experience. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell absolutely. me more about it. Tell me more about it. I wasn't thinking much about it before this conference because all I knew was this great introduction movie that was like, I think it was two years ago with Ignite that you had all those puppets without legs. Yes, 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 yes. Moving around in an immersive yes. space. It's real now. It's real. And I was able here now. to try it out. There is a boot here from Meta. Okay. Where you can put on the Yes, I did the glasses. see them. Right, right. It's great. You okay. should try it. Okay, Teams Mesh. And and what happens in that experience, you can ask for the mesh demo. Then you put on the glasses. Right. Oh the glasses. And then you are entering a Teams meeting with somebody in Redmond. And she will show you around the area and how everything works with the user interface and what you can do in this immersive space. Unbelievable. It's like real time, like you are there, right? Exactly. It's amazing. The and this was really something that I wasn't aware that it would be such a game changer in the way that you can do meetings nowadays. Oh, right. Right, right, right. It's so like... You can use it for meetings. Yeah, you can use it for meetings. And it's like you and all the other people are actually in the same room. Mm -hmm. I like it. And you can do like training too, right? Like you can do training sessions and... Exactly. For customers can use that. Yeah, you can share a screen in a big room and have everybody sitting there and paying attention and react responding to what you're doing. It is... That's Amazing. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at where we have come now, right? Exactly. Unbelievable. All right. Raymond, awesome stuff. Thanks for doing this with me. I love you, man. Thank You're you. Awesome. Thank you. All right. That's it. Thanks a lot. Cheers. All right, folks. Welcome back. Let me have another conversation here. Back. Correct. All right. Can you let people know who you are, what, what you do, yeah, where sure. you're from? <laughs> uh, my name's Beck. I'm uh, the head of Platforms Data and Automation with a mining company in Australia, BHP. Awesome. So all the way from Australia? Yes. So are you based on the, on the west? West coast. West coast. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Long way away. Long way away. Yeah. So I was just having a conversation earlier with another uh, IT pro from uh, Australia as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. So you just attended a breakout session, Scaling yeah. AI for Your Business with Windows and Windows 365. 
What are your thoughts? It's uh, very cool. Yeah, so I was saying someone before when I came to Ignite, I didn't think that the session I would be as excited about would be a Windows 365 given so many other things, but actually it's a really, really interesting development. Okay, what what popped for you? Like what, what got you like a couple of things? That... I think speed, uh, like the speed and velocity we can deliver the services to our mm -hmm. customers. Uh, really great use case in our mergers and acquisition business. Mm -hmm. um, exactly, right. And just, uh, and probably the um, scalability, like being able to, you know, scale up somebody's laptop service, right, you know, right, right. like that. Right. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really neat feature too. Um, I like you, you know, the way you mentioned about um, uh, mergers and acquisitions. Mm -hmm. I've had a conversation with a customer uh, based in uh, Germany. Yep. And that's exactly why they use uh, Windows 365, right? So they're merging, like, you know, we could get them started right away yeah. with, with, you know, into our environment with our data with you know with access and stuff and then we'll figure out later on what to do with their you know other yes. devices and that's right can and merging and stuff so yeah. is that what you're seeing as well yeah really interesting development for us as well about how many laptops we might have to buy versus people bringing their own and and uh, just that type of thing so looking at the whole cost optimization of that process i think is going to be really interesting exercise okay so your company uh, probably deals with a lot of like vendors as well, right? Yeah. So they got to go to on site and stuff like that. Is that, are you providing them with? We are. And um, even IT, like our technology support teams, which uh -huh. there's thousands of uh, Indian outsource providers. So all get BHP laptops, all get onboarded. Uh, so yeah, definitely another really interesting use case. Awesome. Awesome. So what do you think uh, about Copilot um, in Windows? How's, how are you guys? planning to use this? I think it just makes, uh, it just, uh, settings drives me crazy. I mean, just trying to work out how to get things working. Where is, this so where is that? Which one? I know I've seen right. it before. So I just think for our users, that's going to make things just way more usable, more accessible. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know, they won't be calling the help desk all the time. They right. won't be going up to our tech hubs and needing help for really simple things. So right. I think that's going to I think it's really gonna streamline reduce, the process. Definitely going to reduce help desk calls for sure, right? Yeah. So now they're capable of just managing it themselves. Like, yeah. like uh, Melissa, you know, uh, demoed about changing the wallpaper. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like, you know, brilliant. Yeah. Um, how do you like all the uh, Windows uh, 11 accessibility features? Really good, yes. Uh, I was actually the chair of the Diversity and Inclusion uh, uh, Committee Council for Technology for a long time. Uh, and we did a lot of work to look at uh, accessibility and technology mm -hmm. and Microsoft certainly is at the front of that. So that was great to see. Yeah. So, you know, when I talk to people about, you know, the accessibility features, they're like, oh, yeah, but this is for like, you know, people that have, dis you know, disabilities. I'm like, no, no, it's not. No. It is for everyone. Yeah. You know, you, I'm visual, so I need, you know, I need to see things like, for example, you know, live captions yes. and whatnot. Oh, my God. And yeah. you can change colors and, and yeah. everything like that. Yeah, so. we have a very, uh, very diverse workforce. We have people mm -hmm. with different education levels. We have people on the neurodiverse spectrum. So, uh, and, you know, all play a really pivotal role in our business. And to be able to support them in a more accessible way is really important. Right. What would you tell customers, IT pros, about Windows 11, Copilot? What, what, what should they do and why? Well, I think uh, we definitely, everybody should do an assessment because I think it's a game changer for how we currently provision those services for our employees, mm -hmm. contractors, and um, you know, for other businesses, probably customers. So okay. yeah. Great words. Thank you. Thank you back for being here. You're and, welcome. And uh, enjoy Ignite. Okay, thanks. Right. That's all folks. Until next time. <laughs>